So let's talk for a minute about drugs versus supplements. Because there's a place in, in the world for both. But what I would submit to you is drugs are for something that is acute, right? Something that's life-threatening and that needs to be slowed down at this moment so you can function. And that's really what drugs do. Drugs don't cure anything. You don't hear people who get on a drug and then they're cured of their diabetes. No, they are given so they can manage symptoms, right? So the challenge with that is people don't get better. So drugs manage symptoms, unfortunately lead to side effects. Most people who take a drug, what happens? Well, it has a natural, it has side effects because a drug is making your body do something it's unwilling to do at this moment. And so the body's going to resist in its own way. It's going to counteract, which creates a new problem. That's why when you get a drug or you hear about a drug on television, you've got all those wonderful things that are potentially could happen, right? Oh, I take this drug and I have better sex. Of course, my head might blow up tomorrow or, or you know, I might like shoot everyone, but it's at least I'm going to have better sex. I'm, I'm sorry to be light on that. Actually, maybe I'm not sorry. I'm just being light about that. But... The point is they have side effects, one, because the drug makes a side effect, and two is because most drugs deplete you of certain nutrients, which the, the missing of a nutrient leads to a new side effect because it causes something else in the body to break down. And so drugs also are dangerous. Heck, every year in the United States, over 100,000 people die from properly prescribed properly used medication. So they go, someone goes to the doctor and the doctor says, this is what you've got. This is the drug that's best going to help you manage that. They go home, they use it exactly as they were told to and boom, they're dead. That's just the truth. And ultimately, if you're using drugs, you're probably in a situation where your quality of life is declining. And that's not a good thing. Supplements, on the other hand, they're an entirely different perspective. But first thing you got to know is it's not instant gratification. You don't take a supplement and all of a sudden you don't feel any more of the symptom, which, by the way, half the time is the case with a drug too, only you have all the risk. Um, but nutrients and supplements give your body what it needs to do what it needs to do so that it can begin to get well. So supplements don't cure you, but they give your body the fuel to do what it needs to do and they're completely safe, you never hear about anybody dying from a vitamin or a mineral. Why? Because they don't. People don't die from too many vitamins and minerals. It just doesn't happen. And they're inexpensive, relatively, spe relatively speaking. Supplements are so much cheaper than drugs. And long term, I, look, I've been around people for the last 25 years that I've been involved in this industry. And I know people that are 50, 60, 70, 80 who've been supplementing for 25 or 30 years. And you know what? They don't look anything like the people around them who haven't been. Their skin's more vital. They look better. Their energy is better. What they do in their life is more. They have a much better life. And that's what supplements lead to a higher quality of life.